I'm taking a break from working on this quilt, and I just want to talk about a couple of other handhelds. I had thought I had gotten one from Turkey, but it, it, it was actually the one from India and Taiwan. I had the T, but not the right country. Um, these are three um, that I just want to mention. First of all, this is one, um, I believe this one did come from China. It's a modern one that I paid about $2.39 for, including the shipping. <clears throat> Excuse me. It took about uh, three weeks to get here. Um, but I want to show you the quality. It's not bad. It stitches very well where they um, don't put any investment. It's a very, very almost see-through plastic, lightweight see-through plastic, plastic bobbin, and the whole thing is very light, um, kind of like an inexpensive stapler you would buy as a temporary stapler. It does come with a longer spool pen and a bobbin. It works great. Um, I'm not sure how long it would last, but for $2.39, it works great. And um, comes in a box like this. I don't even think it had a brand name when I bought it. Um, mini handheld. And I can go by the label. And of course, I forgot my glasses. I think I'm pretty sure it's China. It's got a customs thing on it, but came from came through Cambodia. So no, I take it back. It's not Chinese. It's Cambodian. Cool. Then there's this one, which is from Taiwan. Now this is a vintage one um, where it's not modern. You see, it, Cambodia, India, uh, Taiwan, China, um, and of course the um, battery-operated American ones, supposedly American ones, are probably all made in China. Um, this is from Taiwan, and it's got the. This is almost the exact same thing as the Sun from China, and of course Ta Taiwan is actually part of China, but you can tell there's a difference. They're not exact, um, but they're almost the same. They're almost the same in weight and everything. Stitch is fine. Did not come with a longer spool pen. Came with a metal bobbin. And um, the name brand on this one, I almost couldn't read it. Uh, it does come with a booklet. Senfon. Cloth self-feeding. Um, Senfon. So that one's from Taiwan. And then this is um, my good old standard sun from China, which compares, this is just a slightly lighter than the Singer handheld, uh, the vintage manual Singer handheld I did a video on earlier today. Um, so I would still say, if you can find these, um, go with these. But if you like collecting them, I mean, they're not very expensive. And it's kind of interesting that so many countries have them. You know, I, I, you can stick them in your pocket, and you can sew anywhere. It's almost along the lines of the Indian book charka, which is a spinning wheel the size of a book, that no matter where you are, you can open it up, and you can be spinning cotton anywhere. Um, I think that's why I like them. So there are um, two more new ones and um, one of the sons again. So this one is from Taiwan and this one is from Cambodia.